Unlock the power of language. Bridging astrology, prayer, and perception. As a journalist, I have been trained at the American Writers and Artists Institute and hold degrees from IIM Ahmedabad and IIT Madras. In this video, I will share some robust constructivist theories I have learned through my life experiences, which I believe will be insightful. If you find my content interesting, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Also, don't forget to check out my website, linked in the description below, and sign up for my newsletter to stay updated. Language is not just a means for communication, it's a powerful tool that shapes our perception, understanding, and experiences. It's a bridge to knowledge, enabling us to express, connect, and comprehend the world around us. Today, I wish to explore the fascinating relationship between language and belief systems, particularly focusing on astrology. Astrology, often dismissed due to biases and preconceived notions, has a language that's vibrantly rich in metaphors and symbolism, resonating deeply with many across cultures and generations. In our journey of life, we often find ourselves at crossroads, seeking meaning, searching for answers, or trying to make sense of our existence. During such introspective moments, the language of astrology can provide us with a unique lens to view our circumstances. Here, I use the terms, apparatus, and, figments, to represent the complex mechanisms and elements of astrology. For instance, consider the K value and the theta value. These are principal elements used in astrological calculations, serving as essential components of the, apparatus, that helps us decode the cosmic influences on our lives. Shifting our attention from the celestial to the divine, let's discuss prayer rooms. These sacred spaces, where individuals grapple with existential questions and seek divine guidance, are also fascinating examples of how language shapes our relationship with the divine. The language used in these spaces is often archaic, steeped in tradition, and rich in symbolism, adding another layer of depth to our spiritual experiences. Today, I want to share a prayer in my native language, Telugu. This prayer, inspired by phrases from the Atharvana Veda, is my humble attempt at connecting with the divine. Prayer, irrespective of the language, is a robust process that strengthens our relationship with the Almighty. I encourage you to use a translator to understand this prayer in your language, to fully appreciate its depth and significance. As we delve deeper into the topic, it becomes evident how language allows us to connect with others and ourselves on a profound level. When we use the language of astrology, it transforms from a mere tool into a comprehensive system that enables us to interpret and understand the world around us. It provides us with a framework, an apparatus, to make sense of our experiences and our place in the universe. The figments, in this context represent the various elements of astrology, the planets, signs, houses, aspects, and more. Each of these elements carries specific meanings and influences, contributing to a nuanced understanding of our lives and personalities. Turning back to faith, the language used in prayers, especially those derived from ancient texts like the Atharvana Veda, carries immense power and depth. Even if we don't understand the literal meanings of the words, the vibrations, rhythms, and sounds of the language can evoke a profound sense of connection to the divine, our ancestors, and the universe. In conclusion, language, in all its multifaceted forms, serves as a powerful bridge. It connects us to our past, present, and future, to our inner selves, and to the universe at large. Whether it's the language of astrology, prayer, or everyday conversation, it's an invaluable tool that enables us to navigate and interpret our world. Men and women can use my prayer to connect to the Almighty in the prayer room. Sina samprapti timistakam, vedam tapabalam, sastram vijnanata rupam, kadvikasam mangalya vedanam, praptam setugunam, narayana mantram tapo sakti, arnalam madhusudanam, Kasagatram Vinapala Lokam, Kandrayanam Samporna Vivarana, Raksasatvam Vijanu Tijam, Sanskaram Rupam Sakti, Devaraka Mukhi Tretram, Yoga Vasistam Prabalaya Sadgunam, Vedam Prarambam Amritam Sastram, 
Dhyanam Madhusudana Laksanam, Rupam Brahma Talampu, Badaram Kandra Likitam, Asadam Brahma Snigda, Katoratnam Vanaram, Madhyam Sidu Gunam Prasadam, Visvam Avarbhavam Ragada, Aksaku Tilakam Veda Anusaritam, Adeka Brahma Mudi, Kalti Samayam Runabharam, Abhudayam Rupam Anasudanam, Sasikarna Atulyam, Brahma Sastrina Visva Nayaka Prarambam Mavi Kularam, Sandhya Tiram Katarvidya, Prelabdam Prakatam, Dharmam Devaramukhi, Edda Dharmasya Visva Karanam, Purvam Brahma Nidra, Gaganam Asurva Tilakam, Gandhi Tatvam Manasumanjali, Ida Vedam Tata Sambodam, Dharmam Aniaraktam Sasi Varnam Yugadam, Vedam Tanmaya Saididi Hastam, Janmata Sanskaranam Mudra Kamundasvari Laksatam, Yada Brahmam Tata Svasa, Anaraktam Kendram Brahma Puranam, Katurvedam Amikam, Meta Samruti Nisakaram Yada Laksanam, Vedam Anasoram Rupam Vedam Karuna Daya Sananayam, Tat Veditam Amayakam, Tara Tara Tara, Netram Prarambam, Sikaram Samanam, Veda Anasoram Brahma Samayam Nivardi, Yadalapana K, Om Santi Om Santi Om Santi. Please find below the necessary details to learn more. To join our exclusive readership, please click the link in the description and follow the simple two-minute procedure. You can cancel your subscription anytime from your PayPal account. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the bell icon, liking the video, and leaving a comment below. Thank you so much for your support and appreciation. Gratitude is the most universal form of love and expression. I am a writer who lives in India.